Welcome back, Thrill Seekers. Okay, this is called either a magnetic resonance amplifier or an acoustic magnetic generator. Anyway, the thread is over at overunity.com. I will put a link in the description of this video. Basically, the principle is, is that you have uh, a little... Uh, um, piezo transducer and this is a 395 item from the local shop and you run it in series with a coil this coil is meant to be wrapped around a barium ferrite magnet I don't have a barium ferrite magnet and it looks like they're pretty hard to get um, so this is just I'm using this just as a test this is a an old ferrite TV yoke from a previous experiment which I'm sure a lot of you recognize what that would be from and then you have another coil over here which is the pickup coil wrapped around the same in this case ferrite this should be a barium ferrite magnet a bar magnet a ring magnet whatever it doesn't matter but it's just gonna be barium ferrite don't have those and then with <coughs> the the input on this coil here is just a straight feed from the iPhone from this little frequency generator it's only at 20k I, I'm looking for a 40 oh well above 20k anyway I can't find a uh, generator app above 20k I, I suspect that may be a limitation of the technology oops don't go to sleep yet um, <clears throat> but if anyone knows one please uh, pass on the details and the idea is is that you, you know you're meant to um, run the, the, the tone through here and then it uh, gets transformed into this coil over here and then I'm rectifying that signal through here and we're reading the DC voltage on here. So let's just switch her on. Okay now some of the reading I've done suggests that um, a square wave won't work but I get better results in this test anyway with the square wa square wave. Maybe with a um, barium ferrite magnet, I would um, get a better result with a sine wave. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to grab some magnets here, and as usual, they're sticking to everything. Bloody neos! Okay, got them. Okay, so I've got this these twenty neos here. And I find that, let's try to get all this in shot and do it at the same, oop, bugger, let's bugger that up, Way. Okay, let's just move that out, over there, voltage is still the same, bring it in a bit closer, So that was interesting. I've had it just, oh, there we go, that's about the high, oh, that's the highest I've had it. So 6.8 is my new high. And you can see there I'm not doing anything, I'm just holding the magnet. If I go all the way, bang, she drops off. I can actually just sit it about here though. And we'll get a constant. Oh, incidentally, um, these these coils here, they're not hooked up to anything. They're not doing anything. So this is a really simple circuit. Um, yeah, but I thought that was interesting. I'd love to get my hands on some barium ferrite magnets, if anyone knows where you can get them. Uh, don't know what the amperage is on this. No idea. Haven't hooked the globe or anything else up to it to, to check. Simply because I don't have a working one at the moment. But... Hopefully some of you will find that helpful. Thanks. Bye guys.